it's going to shake the whole world. Shake the whole world. Because there are a lot of things we believe is in the hand of God. But it's, we made a mistake by ourselves. Hello everyone. You are welcome back again. This is Chester TV. Today we are talking about prophecy and revelation about some celebrities in Nigeria, Nigerian government uh, among others. Yes, King Saidu Supas Ed, Alalome Abib, that's portable, and AFCC. Do you think AFCC will arrest portable very soon? Let's find out in this video what Prophet Marcus Tibetan revealed about portable. Then, Prophet Tibetan said, This is the first time that EFCC gets a good person to pilot the AVS. That's on the page 203 of Revelation 2024. 20, All right, let me start with this. The prophecy concerning the popular Fuji musician King Said Osupa. Said Osupa, the popular Fuji musician, was born on August 7, 1969, and he started his music career in 1983. He has released many albums and acted many films. But why are we talking about a Manchester TV today? Continue watching this video. For some time now, Saeed Oshupa has been seen sitting down while singing outside. And there are a lot of questions about this. In this video, Prophet Marcos Tibetan reveals something about life and health of Saeed Oshupa, which called for urgent prayer for him. If you remember, it was as a result of his sickness, he could not sink during the burial of Sunday Igbo's mother. Not quite long. Saeed Oshupa has been under medical checkup for some time now, and those that are closer to him reveals that the sickness is relating to poisoning or others, and that made him stooling and vomiting all the time. Prophet Marcos Tibetan has urged the people to pray for this Fuji musician because they need their prayer at this moment. And in the Revelation book of the year 2024, on the page 280, there are prophecies for Said Oshupa. I read, Said Oshupa. May prayer shed you from accidents, hospitalization, and any threats to your reputation. Take precaution to ensure safety in your home and lead your children and followers with wisdom. Strive for personal growth and development. That's a prophecy for Said Oshupa. But there is emphasis on hospitalization. Said Oshupa needs a lot of prayer and God will give him good health. Now, on the same page, this prophecy and revelation is for, is for portable. That's Olalomi. Yes, this year, try as much as possible to change your way. You are too loud. Calm down. Pray against disease. Auto crash and attack. Don't use gun this year so that it won't be used against you. Seek spiritual clarity in every important step you want to take. And God will see you through. Those are the revelation for um, portable Saidu Shupa, EFCC, among others. And there are a lot of other messages in this video for um, the president of Nigeria and the state of the nation. Prophet Tibeta categorically mentions some events that will happen towards the end of June, July, August, in November this year. That's 2024. Now let's watch this video let's listen to prophet dr marcos tibetan thank you for watching for more prophecies and gospel news around the world subscribe to 12 star tv and turn on notifications yeah i i'm not disputing it that tinobu is not my person you know some people call tinobu a bad bread article bad bread those that have said no you are not bad bread you see in psalm 11 verse 3 he said if the foundation is spoiled there is nothing a righteous person can do when a foundation is what? Is spoiled. Then when you look at what he said again in the book of Jeremiah 29 verse 11, he said, the thought I have for this country, the thought I have for this country, is good. They said our, our country is full of meek and honey. 
But look at it today. Where is the milk? Where is the honey? All them, all the all that was all has been stolen away. Do you know the story of uh, when when an ambassador is traveling out of Nigeria, either from any part of the country? They said that's a diplomatic bag. Do you know the meaning of the diplomatic bag? Those are the raw gold, the the of the what they have stolen from the country that they want to take out and give to the to the queen, to the president of America. Everything they call it what diplomatic bag. That's a bag that you cannot what you cannot touch. Those who are who are crying that uh, Tinubu did not what Tinubu has not lived up to his uh, expectation. Yes, they have a point. They have a point. But there's something that we should realize again in an, uh, an adage that says they will see the reason why a cock fowl will never by one o'clock in the afternoon stand by the by the edge of a well. And look inside, because when he's looking inside the well, it will be anything de demonstrating up here will be making sign over there and see the other one wanted to fight him. Yeah. What the only problem APC have in the, in the only problem they have is for driving the people of Ondo, Edo, Delta, Ogu, Oyo, using the headsmen to drive them to the city. Uh, add to our problem because we are doing some pea, uh, uh, peas and farming. We we can produce what we put on our table, but they now brought their cow to destroy those things for that eight years. So that's the reason why Tinubu should give us should should quickly come to our aid because not all of us are lazy. We not we are all not lazy, and when you look at the border for eight years. But there are lords in our area here. They can't bring in that. They cannot do anything. And then when you look at the loaning, during the time of uh, Buhari, they, they brought loan in and dispensed that salary. There is no export. Then when you look at the northerners too, whenever they grabbed all those big, big money, if they said they are capitalizing on a major, major uh, investment in their area, what are they doing? They are building mosques. And how many years will I tell you that there have been a, 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 a local government that doesn't exist? Or a new a local government chairman or uh, area in uh, in Akaduna, in Yobe, in Kafaicha, and everywhere. They do go there, share this money, and go. And go. So automatically, they need patience. Even when you look at the federal government today, we have private school and government school. Why, what is the difference between the private school and the government school? Before they said, because the government school, just one point, that they normally strike. Mm. Then, then the government school, they don't pay good salary. That too. Then the government school again, that, uh, they are the, that uh, when government, when government change, their policy change. Yeah. But when you look at the private school today, when you start, when they start, uh, you get, get to them at the age of six. And when you get to the school at the age of six, they will be giving you mark until you get to secondary school. Then when you're going to do the right jam, but we're still writing the same jam, the same school site, the same, uh, um, all the whole school curriculum are the same. But the private has killed the government policy. You get what I'm saying? So with that, if you are earning 300,000 or, or 150,000 and you have two children, Two of your children in a private uh, primary and uh, nursery, and you are paying them 18,000 18, every three, every three, three months as a term. So, how much are you giving them in a year? Then, the one of government, you only buy a book. If the government says to give them book, then the teacher will be there to teach them. And if you talk about it, when you, when you teach them all these things, then you can get a lesson teacher on weekend to balance up. But parents in Nigeria constituted they constituted nuisance at the angle of that education. You could remember when they said Python took away jump money. Yes. We all hear it's not a noble regime. When the governor buried the uh, foreigners and jeep inside the tunnel, keeping dollars and uh, valuable dog, uh, money inside it, it's all those things. And the family of good luck, Jonathan. 
Before you think we're not gonna this is how much you're gonna pay. Then again, it was then Alice Madwake. He gave some people money, a lot of people money in this country to hold. When the bank is bank cannot hold their money again, all in dollar. You can say, so is it Tinubu? No, it's not Tinubu. It's not Tinubu. Tinubu Tinubu is a poor, he came through the poor background. When he was in school in Chicago, with all the history we had about him was he was a leader. He cooked for them, he do all those things. Then when he didn't have money to go to continue his course, he defer and drive, drive, uh, drove a taxi. Yeah. This is normal for my baby. Then when you look, when you are asking me now in my house, and for that education, why don't we fine tune how to bring this thing together? When government is collecting missionary schools from them, then again, the private are what are waxing stronger. And the government is going down. Then we have uh, uh, Neko now. That's a local person. So Neko cannot work in, uh, in, in, in Gabon. Neko Resort cannot work in Cameroon. Neko Resort cannot work in Switzerland. As well, um, as, as, um, Syria alone. So when you look at all these things that we are doing, all these policies are not. We are not the, gov the government up is tired. And the country himself has inspired. Then what, what make all this thing worse? The northern the full and is they don't hospitality doesn't exist again. When a car fell into a pit now in Ojota or, or really or anywhere, your brother, your co-brothers around you who speak the same language with you, they will not ask you. How much are you going to give us to bring your car from the from the from the gutter? And but they know you have already damaged your silencer. You have damaged the, the, the axle of the car. They saw the oil on the land, they won't pity you. They know you are not driving it home. They will ask you, how much are you going to pay? Then look at the people working in, in Lasso, in, uh, in Loma, in road safety, in Nigeria, in Lagos here. Go and see all the car they from people. They allow it to go to rotting. They for them to sell it, auction it to students and everything. So they can be using it as a, a campus taxes and everything. They just kept it there to get to rotting. Virtually all Nigerians now are wicked. They are what? They are very wicked. I don't know who is a father. Whenever anything happens, he comes and addresses it and talk to Nigeria. When you know when Buhari was there, why would not talk to anybody? Buhari would not talk to, to, talk to anybody. Now Tinubu is traveling. He's allowing Zetima to, to want to take charge. But this only happened twice during the eight years of what? Of Buhari. He made a a a, 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 a puppet. Then he was even telling him to go and be sharing money to market women in the in the then his, his helicopter dropped there. Now you have to have been you have to have been forgotten for long with the with the with the useless errand Buhari sent him. So automatically, my brother, I will beg all Nigerians to take it easy. The fact is not Tinubu. Tinubu did not meet anything of that. Even the BOT. Those people who organized the election, the primaries and everything, Amishuri uh, and all of them, they stole all the money they collected. They're supposed to have even been in jail. But they'll be saying, oh, the, 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 the people that helped me to government, he has put them in jail. No! Look at uh, the other labor leader. Look at when he has hung around the government till today. And look at the trouble they have seen. They have even the poor in those states. That's social money. You see all these things. So, I look at those people in the Senate, House of Assembly. We're supposed to keep one of these two houses. We can even tell them to be coming in. It's, in the, it's, it's the next prediction coming. The next prediction is there that uh, we Nigerians should come out. Either we are to keep Senate and allow, we are to keep House of Assembly, National House of Assembly, and allow Senate to go. They are really consuming a lot of money and they are heartless human beings. They don't fear God, they don't know God, they don't do anything. And the people that, the, the, the people that are there, they are God, they are what? They are clergymen amongst them. They are all Christian. If they are not Christian, they are Muslim. And if they are not Muslim, they are Babalahu, but they know, they knew how they impregnate their wife, just like a meek, and then the Lord bring a son to them. So that's the reason why they need to be very, very, very careful. They need to be very, very careful. Because when you look at the Abba women, out, we are very close to it now. But the fact is that this will get to the top. The, the hardship will get to the top before it breaks down. Mm. By this time next year, when refineries are working everywhere, modular and everything, nobody will think about Dangote. 
That country will be looking for someone to come and buy it. Because before, we have original, we have super, we have everything. Still the same way in America, in, in London. But now since uh, the time of Babangidati now, it's just one brand of uh, petrol. That was the day they brought one that can keep people on the highway. That was, that was smelly. We will use it. It's our leaders that we should beg. This money are in their hands. They should just make a meeting. And those that are killing Nigeria, they are not up to 1,000. They are not up to 1,000. But the people coming behind them, they are waiting for their own time. When are we going to be free? When are we going to be free? You know, I told you the other day, we are all placed on oxygen. From Baba God, we are all placed on oxygen. When you roll a balloon and put air into it, you can't enter the balloon. But it's the oxygen that you put into it that stay out there. Then that is why all Nigerians should beg. We should talk to our brothers and everything. But we are praying that if the list of those that embezzle Nigeria money is out, that we try out. You know, I was begging Almighty God for, for May, September, and October so that there cannot be any crisis in this country. Because the answers matter not to come back again. We will be praying so long. So, but now, my brother, you said Tinubu is my person. Yes, I'm a Yoruba man. I have never collected for the cover from him. Even I don't know his house, I don't know where he lives. He we only met in the house of uh, Agbala Jobi in uh, Ikeja those days. So, but that's why we met. And he's a very good man who has an ambition. You know, he worked with Babang, he worked with uh, Awolo. He was alive. During the time of Morita, he was alive. During the time of uh, uh, Obasanya, he was alive. And well, you know the other time they said, we should give credit to God for still saving his life. You know when they were asking Ambassador Clay a question, he said, I'm not a politician. If you want a politician, go to God alone. That's where a politician stay. He, he know the gimmick, he know everything. Nigeria is going to smile. Before the end of June, Nigeria will smile. Yeah, smile. Yes, Nigeria will smile so again. Please, uh, why is it that people are shouting uh, the dollar is rising? No, they are yes, there is no, nobody, nobody, uh, you know, government buy dollar in before. Hmm. With their money and that's how selling. But they may feel and the 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 full and the houses, they move all those dollars home. If you can reverse back, go into the internet, see what Toshiba you said. That is a uh, three months before the election. How they went there to remove those dollars. That in a country when they remove this type of dollar, how will they survive? He said that before the election, even before the primary. Even before the primaries. So that's the reason. So now, if some people will just go to the, uh, to to CBN in Abuja, then carry some money again. You remember Futura? You remember Bakiari? These are untouchable people in those days. Do you know the amount of dollars Alice Madwe can remove from Nigeria? Do you know the amount of dollars the Abu Lak Jonathan and his family removed? Do you know the amount of dollars the, the uh, Abu Salam removed and take it to his house? Do you know the number of dollars and pounds and sterling that about Babangida took out? This is that these are the people. Now he's old. He can't go anywhere. He's, he knew Dia Dia died. He knew that uh, Babangida he died. That's, that's Babangida. And these are the problem we're facing. The people are callous. They don't have human feeling. Hospitality is gone. Unity is gone. When the, if there is unity, there will be love. If there is unity, there will be love. And if there is love, there will be peace. And that's why he said in the book of John 14, he said, I'm going. Don't allow your, your heart to be troubled. Believe me. But the, the one in the, in the Bible, in the book of 1 Samuel, uh, uh, in the one of uh, Psalm 105, verse 12, 13, 14, 15, he said, I caused land uh, farming upon the land. That was what made me to pray to, to, to that, that I took Joseph out of the place. Joseph, the, the Nobu is about Joseph. He has the onions. He has the good people around him who can help him. But we are just trying, we are just trying to, we are formulating a new law, a new thing, growing a new plant. But you should put more money on a Greek culture. And the next thing, you should take care of the students. And the next thing, after that again, you should take care of security. All the threatening, uh, the Northerners are given this and that. They want to fight the jihad. They want to, do they learn? Would they watch the CNN and see what is happening to Hamas? Because if they think God will never fight, and when you are going to war, you want them to fight anybody, you can't be too sure. You know the beginning of a war, but when it will end, you can't say, you can't predict. Because go me, everybody was just saying, the Northern Ireland just say all oh, rubbish thing. Take it, take it, that's not the worst thing. That's not what we want now. 
they can take you uh, CBN, they can take seat of power to anywhere. Seat of power in, in America was in Delaware. And move to that place again. And they are enjoying it. We want good hand on, on board. And anybody who's told it should be moved. Because I told you before the end of March, many, many uh, of the of the many of the ministers will be disgraced. And those people given our contract and everything, and people that are going to put on board, they will disappoint. Because virtually all Nigeria now, they are all thieves. They don't have hope for tomorrow. Whatever comes around them, whatever they, they see in view, either they grab it or steal it or they kill you, it's, it's, it's so hard. You cannot, you cannot count the money outside, even in the bus stop. Now people go to Egypt, go to Egypt, go to Abu Dhabi, go to the North, to go and use voodoo to wash their face, sign their face. So who ever carry money in Osho, they pursue. So that's a problem. But the time is still coming that we will we'll be saying all these stories. But I pray God should prolong the life of Tinubu and the good ones in his government. And all the bad ones in his government, the Lord should disgrace them. Because the House of Assembly, the Senate and everything, we don't have good people around that place. We cannot enjoy, but let's see. Let, if God is God, he knows how to, how to do it. So we are not in a hurry. But I beg Nigeria to remain calm. No tension is to remain calm. I want to jump up. I want to jump up. I want to jump up. Because when I meet it, I want to jump up. I want to jump up. I want to jump up. To be honest, I want to jump up. I want to jump up. I want to jump up. Nobody, if you are a house, you will not die. We should endure. If we can endure a mefele before the election, if we can endure all these people, we'll be able to endure this. We have a little less than seven months. We'll be okay. Before it's one year, we'll be okay. That's the problem. Thank you very much, sir.